is a case for society hae.com we are here with dre hayes one of the co-founders of the foundation in the quote-unquote urban community some of it's real you know because it's you know these guys come in and they walk on the license they can make money by starting a brand so some people i think it's about creativity some people i just think it's about opportunity to license out and stand we just finished the great panel and we wanted to ask you what is the ratio of a music artist's success versus like their whole fashion brand? Like, what do you think the ratio is in 2012 now? The ratio of success in fashion yeah. versus success in music. Oh, I don't even know how to answer that, man. I don't normally get stumped by a question. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, just in your in relation, let's say we use uh, um, Lupe Fiasco, right? Very fashionable gentleman, but his music sales or teetering at times, correct? Teetering, but his last album that just came out did quite well. Mm -hmm. You know, they surprised it for first week sales. Uh, he has a little movement behind him. He was out of the market for a while. There's some artists that are artists, and there's some artists that have, like, whole fan-based movements. Like, I'll give you another example. We have Our Future, out of the West Coast right now. They have a movement behind them. Uh, I just think the music industry is just so drastically different now. Lupe is, in fact, he actually owned a brand, a legitimate brand. It was a partnership with uh, the guys that own Swagger in Japan, but it was more niche. And he is respected as having uh, fashion sense and fashionable style. Uh, I don't think the fashion necessarily correlates to music sales. You know, it just depends on us. Like, I do a brand called Playful, which is owned by the hip hop group, The Clips. The brand has been quite successful in the street market, and it had to be built a certain kind of way with a lot of patience to it. You know, for that, like, yeah, if, if there's plenty of fashionable artists, some of the most fashionable artists are independent, smaller artists that, that don't get as much coverage.